Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Predator Counting X6. In uh, this video, we want to look at uh, the calculation of missing figures, and we are going to uh, look at our question 2.3. So uh, this is a question that we want to look at, and the question reads, uh, you have been provided with the following information from the books of Malut Private Limited, and then I uh, give a statement of comprehensive income for the year ending 31 December 2018, whereby you are given a... Uh, a list of balance that we have here in the form of a statement of comprehensive income. So we've got missing figures that we have. We've got 2.3.1 here. Uh, we've got 2.3.2 uh, up to 2.3.5. So moving on to the next page and try to see uh, what do we have. Uh, we can uh, try to see. So uh, this is our next page, uh, which we are going to uh, first calculate the amount of revenue, which is 2.3.1 with uh, four months. So we can just refer back and try to see uh, how can we arrive at the amount of revenue? But we'll see that our uh, 2.3.1 is here and uh, it's revenue. And uh, we are given uh, cost of sales, but we are not given gross profit. Remember, uh, it was going to be easy because uh, if you say revenue uh, and then you subtract your, your cost of sales, uh, you get your, your gross profit. So uh, in this case, uh, we don't have... Uh, 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 gross profit is not there again, so we only have a cost of sales. So it, it's, it's very difficult to find the revenue. You cannot find the revenue by using this formula. So we try to find out uh, in the other information that we are giving that are you having any hint in terms of uh, how can we arrive at uh, the figure for revenue? But if you give come to additional information, since the revenue must be calculated using a markup, uh, is a eighty percent on cost. So I've got a markup of eighty percent on cost. So that's where we have a hint of how to calculate it. So if you go back, uh, you'd see that now as we are having our markup of being eighty percent, we can now be able to calculate our revenue. Whereby we are saying, remember, if you say uh cost price, you add your markup. Uh, you are going to get uh your selling price. And we know that cost price is always 100%. We add our, our markup according to the question is 80%. And obviously, your selling price is now 180% now. So in this case, you are given your cost of sales is 40,000. So it means your 100% uh, is 40,000. So uh, the figure that you want to look at uh, is uh, the figure that you want to look at is the uh, you, uh, you sell, is the selling price, which is 180%. So basically, you can find it by using simple proportion, whereby you are now saying uh, what you don't have is 100, uh, 180, so it becomes the numerator. What we have is 100%, so it becomes the denominator 100%. And then you multiply by the given figure, which is 40,000. Now we calculate it as such, so you see that the answer that we are, we are supposed to get there is 72,000. So we are now saying uh, 72,000. So we are saying revenue. Revenue is 72,000. So uh, this is uh, what we have. So uh, moving on to the second part of the question, uh, we can just try to see on the second part now of the question, uh, we can, which is 2.3.2. .2. And 2.3.2, .2, if you look at it in there, you'd see that uh, it represents 2.3.2 is our gross profit. So it's now easier to find our gross profit. So let's just try to see how we can arrive at our gross profit. So remember, uh, if we say revenue, this is now 2.3.2. .2. If you say your revenue minus your cost of sales, uh, you are you're supposed to get your, your gross profit. So uh, your revenue, uh, you now have it from the previous calculation, we got 72,000. So you are now saying 72,000. And as the cost of sales given it here is, uh, is 40,000. Then we can as well find our, our, our gross profit down. 72,000 minus 40,000. Uh, you see that the answer that we are supposed to get is uh, 32,000. We are saying 32,000 is now your, your gross profit. So this is what we have in terms of 2.3.2. So we try to uh, move on to the next uh, question that we have. Uh, let's just uh, try to see. We now move on to 2.3.3. Uh, so uh, we can uh, as well move on to 
uh, 2.3.3. Right, we are now on uh, 2.3.3. So on 2.3.3, uh, calculation is on, uh, we can see that uh, we are going to calculate profit before tax. So profit before tax, obviously, we are going to, uh, after getting our gross profits, we are supposed to add our other income. Uh, we subtract distribution costs, we subtract all the costs, subtract other costs, and then we subtract finance costs. Uh, and then uh, we find out the profit before tax. So basically, we are starting from here, whereby we are saying, uh, let's try to see uh, that, whereby we are saying, we have uh, gross profits, we have just calculated gross profit there, and the figure that we got on gross profit is uh, 32,000. So we are saying 32. Uh, 32,000, we subtract, uh, yes, 2.3.2. We add other income, which is a uh, year. Other income is uh, 4,000, and we add 4,000. And then from there, we have a uh, distribution cost, which is 2,000 which we are supposed to subtract. And then from there, we have uh, other cost, which is uh, 5,000, which we are supposed also to subtract. And then from there, we subtract finance cost, which is 500. And after doing that, you find the figure for, uh, for profit before tax, which is going to be, uh, we just try to see what we get there, we get 20,500. So your answer is 28,500. So uh, basically, that's what we have in terms of uh, profit before tax. Uh, so uh, having done that now, we, we move on to the next uh, calculation, which is 2.3.4 uh, now. So on 2.3.4, uh, two point three point four. Two point three point four now uh, we have uh after profit before tax we have got tax expense. But we know that on tax expense uh we have profit before tax, but we are we are not seeing the percentage there. Remember the profits are before tax that we uh, we got there is twenty thousand five hundred. So we are saying and then we calculate the proportion of text. So we can just try to see what we have and there. If you go to the next page, you'll see that we're given that uh, uh, income tax expense uh, using 28%. So we are given the rate here, which is 28%. In the question, this is our rate of tax. So we are to say 28% on the figure that we got there. So we just uh, go there, and then we multiply by 28%. And 28%, we know that is 28 over, over 100. Obviously, this one is over 1. And then uh, we calculate the size, and see that the answer that we need to get is 7,000. Uh, 7,100, let's just try to uh, verify the calculation. And I say 28,500. And then we want to buy 28%. 28,800 each. So we we'll say uh, the other that we are getting there. 7,980. So uh, this is uh, the other for tax. Then on the last part, we have the profits or loss for the period. So after getting this tax, we are supposed to sub sub it from the figure for profit before tax. So in other words, they are saying 28,500 and 7,980, then you get your, uh, your answer there. Let's, so let's just try to see. So we are now saying, so we are now saying 232, uh, 2.3.5, whereby we are saying now, uh, Profit before tax is twenty thousand five hundred. 
It looks like take you or takes you seven thousand there to eighty. And then the final answer that you are supposed to get there is twenty thousand two hundred quid. So this is the last part of our facet. So thank you for listening, guys. And this is what we have according to this video. Let's stay tuned for more videos to come. Let's subscribe to say let's share the link to our colleagues what we uh create our accounting in six. That's what this for this video. I'm out. Uh, let's meet again in the next video.